I'm Andy. And I'm Chris. And together we are... Have Have Fate Fate Will will Travel. travel. We're about to embark on one of the most exciting journeys of our lives. We will cross the expanse of several thousand miles over the next ten days. We'll be traversing land and sea to explore every hidden gem we might discover through oceans, seascapes, mountains, and every valley between. But the most precious gem and true purpose of this vacation is waiting for us just a few states to the east in York, Pennsylvania. Our daughter Megan, her fiancé Troy, and our beautiful grandbaby we are getting to meet for the very first time, Miss Sandra Mae Robinson. So sit back, prop your feet up on the dash, and travel along with us over the next 10 days and thousands of miles of this beautiful countryside as we define the meaning of wanderlust. Take the back roads to destinations yet unknown and journey with us as we celebrate our East Coast Summer Vacation 2021. See you on the flip side. Peace out. Face size. Yeah. You should get out mm-hmm. yours. Take control, Captain. All right. This is an apple fritter. Hey. Look at this puppy. Okay. Perspective. Apple fritter. Hand. Wow. I don't have big hands. Really big hands. Wow. And this is every bit. Eight to ten inches. That's huge. So she's in. <laughs>
Howdy. Hi. We are at the top of one stretch of trail for the Makokita, I stuttered there, Makokita <laughs> Caves Park. And below it, we're actually, we're on the natural bridge, which is an arch, hollowed out arch. Um, below us is, I believe that's the dance hall. Let me, sp I don't know if I can spin around, but. Again. So you, down there is the cave. The first big cave you come to as you come down from the parking lot. Starts way over there. The cave, that cave goes way in there, and then down in there, there is a pass through. And. You cross underneath, like I said, we're standing in, or not in, on the archway that leads over the cave. So it, it goes underneath and through. And there is lots of swallow birds. But then once you go through the cave down there and out the other side. Hey, good looking. Get out of the way. Hi. There are, it's literally a ring as far as a trail with a set of stairs and caves throughout. And there is a section that runs along a ridge or a rock, rock wall, I should say. You can go up it, but you cannot go down it because it's the, the wooden walkway has collapsed. So there's a creek or a creek, depending on who you are that runs through literally the whole half of the the trail here but it is peaceful or was uh, to it's a group of like 30 people that are screaming but other than that it was yeah, yeah. Really peaceful it was peaceful but yeah. it's very serene and if you stop look and listen you'll find that there's a whole different life within this atmosphere and it's really pretty. It's, it's cool. I mean, it's cool outside of this, but I think it was about 75. 70-something, 70 yeah. 70-something. Back home, I think it was supposed to get, like, tornadic-like weather eventually this afternoon. So we're we're going we're gonna to stay put right here for a while. But it's really pretty. We're, once again, we're at Makokota State Park. Park. And there's caves. There's, like, one segment of trail is just three miles just by itself. The rest is broken into, into total doable if you're a big boy like me, but it's like less than a quarter mile, less than half a mile trail. But they all interloop together, so you're not gonna you're not gonna wander off the path unless you decide to do that for yourself. And it looks like you can. There's several trails where you can do that. So And then if you go back to where you started <laughs> started, <laughs> there's a whole other half of a trail system, like six more caves. And some of them are dry caves. Um, that one down there is a wet cave. It's not water filled per se, but it just has a creek that runs through it. Some you can crawl in, or if you're short like me, some you can just walk yeah, in you just and walk stand in. up. So and I'm, I did I'm five eight, five nine, depending um, on the shoes. I'm five tiny. Five tiny. So it's it's so beautiful. I wish we didn't live four and a half hours away, but uh, we may have to visit in the fall. After just driving for like thousands of miles and all those hours i'm pretty sure we can do this whenever we want to so absolutely we'll be back in the fall so as my shirt says don't stop don't believing. stop believing sasquatch flying saucers nessie's on there somewhere but i'm all geared up got my digital camera my tack light mini binox in the back is a smith and wesson razor sharp knife so i got covered and then i got bait up there you know <laughs> and here this is my maiden yes so you know i might attract the sasquatch and then uh, never know as long as long as it gives her back i mean anywho we are headed back to the car i think we're probably done for the most part we got to get the road see ya
Howdy everybody. I am back again and we just finished up uh, Makokota Cave State Park and obviously I couldn't do a Facebook Live down in the caves area but I do have a video that I recorded anyways explaining what all was there. We'll have plenty of pictures but uh, it was a very satisfying area for sure. Wouldn't you say there, Captain? Definitely, and I would like to have done more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was, it was really pretty. Obviously, that doesn't quite say everything, but it's prettier in person. it was. Yeah. It's definitely, as my young one said, what'd you say? Prettier in person. Prettier in person. It's serene, but I do want to say one bit of criticism. I like to hike as well as my wife. If you're hiking in nature, be a part of nature. Don't be destructive or destructive. We were down there, I would say towards the tail end of the hike and a group of, larger group of people came through and just yelling and screaming. And so that's all I'm gonna say. When you hike, hike with a purpose or no purpose, but observe the rules of nature and enjoy it not just for yourself but others around you so Makokota the town itself was beautiful uh, as you probably saw last night we were at the Decker Hotel and we took pictures in the hotel also as well as a live video it's just one of those places wouldn't you say love that you just have to be there yeah definitely you can't you can feel the historical energy. Yeah, seeing it on camera or pictures doesn't really do its justice because you can't feel the solid wood banister rails or the carpet on the stairs or the books on the shelf that are 50, 60, 70 years old. You can smell the oldness. You can, yeah. In a good way. Not you can bad. smell the good oldness. It was just the rooms, uh, as the the check-in person, I wish I had gotten her name, um, said it's, it's a work in progress. The previous owners didn't really, they weren't restoring it in a manner that preserved the historical factors. They were doing it to make money, which, you know, if you're going to do a, a hotel or an Airbnb, you want that income. But at the same time, um, you want to, you want to draw people in for the wow factor too and while the building and the most of it was a wow factor i would say our room was not a wow factor would not you in, not in no not in that way but yeah it was it, the whole the whole of itself was beautiful the building was old it was just home Depends on what you're looking for. I mean, a Holiday Inn is going to have everything you want and yeah. need and be super plush. And yeah, if you want, it, it really boils down to what do you want. We, we've we stayed in all aspects. We stayed in a ghetto t hotel, motel. Uh, we stayed in a really nice motel. We stayed in a really even more nicer uh, condo. And then we stayed in a historical national registered... Haunted hotel. Possibly haunted hotel so it was Makokota did not disappoint even that we stopped and got donuts this morning right away we'll uh, post pictures of those bad boys later yeah we'll gigantic. post pictures I had a apple fritter that was probably 10 inches like from thumb to pinky is probably about 10 inches on my hand and it was at least that big or a little bit bigger so um, saucer size and then we got across Nashville. We were gonna get. We did get some coffee at a place called Frenzy. That a lot of places like that. I think um, Chris would agree with me. They they'll either get right on target or way off as far as flavor I and. Coffee way off. What was wrong with yours? Amarin. Amarin. Yeah, Amarin Coffee Shop and Chinko Tea. Uh, was not mine was okay, huh? Yeah, not was, impressive. Uh, was yours okay? Mm -hmm. 
you know. But see, mine was okay. Mine wasn't like... They won an award for best coffee, and I would not say that by any stretch. Yeah. Ashton, what did you have? Do you remember? I had a tea. Was it good? Well, I thought it was good. So, it tasted like sweet tea. So, yeah, it was a hit or miss. We yeah. just went to Frenzy Coffee in Makoka, and... What did I get? I don't even remember. Yours was a salted caramel bourbon. Mine was a salted caramel bourbon. So I got some monkey brew something. <laughs> Super monkey brew. Mike Kearns, if you're ever out here in Makokota, you probably would like what I got, the salted caramel bourbon. Uh, this the sign said it was new, so if you and, and Nina come this way for a little road trip, stop by there. Frenzy coffee. And we will come back at some point, hopefully this fall. It if if there's anything this trip has proven, we've driven nine states, eight, nine states, probably two, three thousand miles. Anything at home is no longer gonna be too far to drive to. It's gonna be like, oh, 10 minute, 15, 20 minute drive. Eh. Four hour drive. One day we again. drove 13 hours. So I'm pretty yeah. sure yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure anything we do it at home is not gonna be that big a deal. And then, what else was I going to say? I, I'm at a loss for words, finally, so. we got a couple more stops on the way home. Yep, we got a couple more stops. One of them, I think, is uh, one of Chris's favorite childhood things. Um, but I'm not going to tell you yet. Stay tuned. It's a surprise. It's a surprise, if you like it. Hold on. Mixed emotions for sure. Yep. 
so many places and things and people and stuff. Adventures and... Last week at this time, we were navigating our way to York, PA through the A word. <laughs> Allegheny. <laughs> Allegheny. Gives me PTSD still. But we had a good time. And we have a few people to thank. But we'll thank them individually for uh, helping us and being there for us. But we just wanted to let everybody know we made it home safe. And we have a ton of... Uh, pictures and videos to put out and organize and make into vlogs and share with family and yep so we're gonna chill tonight we've been running and running and getting up at six o'clock every morning i thought we were supposed to be on vacation hey we slept until seven Why this didn't morning we do all that? <laughs> it was a long drive like we said before we've never seen this much construction there's mm. always construction in town even when we've taken other little road trips, there's been construction, but nothing like this. So It was knuck and futz. All the way home, I think. Most of the way home from Makokota today, we drove like 60-something. I drove faster on the back roads before we got back on the interstate than I did on the actual interstate because there's so many people that had the same idea as us to get home on Friday. So all in all, it was, it was worth every second of it. With the Every traffic second. and everything. Mom texted me a little bit after we left Des Moines and said, are you guys getting the bad storms and large hail? We just missed that. So we were thankful we got out of that. We had to have missed it by like less than 10 minutes. So mm -hmm. I'm glad we Hi, missed Mom. that part. So. so we're home. Back to life as we once knew it, but with a renewed sense of, get it done. Adventure, purpose. It was a good trip. It was a good test for another trip we'd like to take at some point after we figure life out a little bit more. Yeah. Hi. Howdy ho, neighbor. So, that's all for now. Just want to let everybody know we're home. Safe and sound. Tired. Hungry. Time to regroup. Missing we just our, carried all that luggage in, too. Missing our babies. Missing our babies a lot. That's been the the worst part of driving home was driving away from them instead of towards them. So, but it was worth it. That's for sure. We're a mess, by the We're way. We're a hot mess. <laughs> Holy hot mess. <laughs> Holy forking shirt balls. <sighs> Anyways, stay tuned. We'll let everybody know where they can view all our pictures and videos. We're going to break them down, group them up in the way they should be. Our vlog stuff will be related to travel vlog stuff. Everything else will be out there where everybody can see it if they're yeah. interested. It's worth it. I promise. So It's just going to take a little bit of time. <clears throat> Tonight we're going to just regroup and unwind first. Get some food. Mellow out. <laughs> Miss you, Mom. We'll have to come see you guys soon. I'm not sure who else is on. It says two people are on, but the only just, person that's showing is Janine. So I, I just saw three for a minute. <laughs> I know, and then somebody else was off. Bunch so. of peekers. Whoever is on, hi. Probably our moms. Probably both of our moms, or a mom and a dad. Oh, one of the two. Now we're down to one. Now we're down to one. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, just my mom on then. <laughs> All right. Well, mom, we're going to get off of here. If you want to message me later, or call me or whatever, we're just going to be chilling. We still kind of have yet to un really unpack, so we shall unpack. But it's good to be home, good to resume life, but with a little bit more vigor and vim and... Lots of memories tucked away. Yeah. So everybody watching this now and later, have a good night. We'll see you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye.